Hi, my name is Jeroen Vondery. I'm the design engineer for the TS-1001 Touchstone Semiconductors 0.8 volt 600 nanoamp operational amplifier. What I want to do in this presentation is show some application examples that may be less obvious, but that I think are interesting because they truly showcase the low power features of the amplifier. In this first example, the op amp is used as a comparator, which means that the output is either railed high or low. Now, for most operational amplifiers, when they're used in that manner, the supply current may show a significant increase. But the 1001 is designed in such a way that even when the output is railed, the supply current remains very low. So with the help of a few external resistors and a 0.1 microfarad cap, we've created a 1 hertz relaxation oscillator. And this whole circuit, including the current through the uh, resistor divider, runs off just 800 nanoamps. In this next example, the 1001, with the help of a logic-fed PMOS, is used to create a peak detector. The diode in the circuit here is shown to represent the body diode of the PMOS. So how does this work? When the input voltage is higher than the output voltage, the feedback around the 1001 and the PMOS turns the PMOS on, and the output voltage follows the input voltage. Then when the input drops below the output, the PMOS is turned off, and the output stays at its last peak value. Now the whole circuit is biased off the capacitor side, which means that the quiescent current is discharging the capacitor. But because the quiescent current is so low, there's barely any droop on the capacitor at all. In fact, if we look at this time domain picture of the, of the, the waveforms that we have, there is a 800 millivolt input sine wave, 30 hertz. That's the blue line in the middle. And then there is a purple line that follows the peaks of the input voltage. And as you can see, there is barely any droop of that uh, peak value at all. The yellow line at the bottom is the voltage at the gate of the PMOS, or the output of the operational amplifier. In this last example, the 1001 is hooked up as a voltage to current converter. Just three terminals, no supply connections needed. Despite the rather unusual connections of the terminals, the operational amplifier works like an op amp is supposed to, which means that the input voltage at the two terminals is forced to be equal. That voltage then is imprinted on the resistor at the bottom, and that forces a current of Vn over R through the resistor, through the amplifier, and that current has nowhere to go but to come out on the top at the terminal shown there. So thanks to the very low quiescent current of the op amp, and its beefy output stage, we have a V2I converter that's very linear all the way from less than a microamp to well over a milliamp. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. For Touchstone Semiconductor, this was Jeroen Fondry.